So the question is asking you to find a simplified expression of the perimeter. Okay, what's important here is that they state the word simplified. Well, what, is, what does it mean to find the perimeter? What is perimeter of a shape? How do you find the perimeter? Perimeter is the total distance around the outside of the shape, right? On the outside. So if, if we need to find the perimeter, we need to add up all the sides, right? Well, what's the length of this shape? What would the length be? of this rectangle. So the length is 7xy, so I need to add, Alvaro, look, I need to add this plus what? Plus 2x, right? What would this side length be? If that's 7xy, what would the other side be? Good. And then what's the other side length? Good. So to find the perimeter, we need to find the total distance around this object, around the shape. So I need to add 7xy plus 2x plus 7xy, good, plus 2x. Now what I said at the beginning was it says that you need to find a simplified perimeter. Is this simplified? What does it mean to simplify? to collect like terms, good. So we need to collect all the terms that are like. Are there any terms here that are like 7xy? 7xy. So what's 7xy, we're gonna add 7xy plus 7xy. And then what do we need to add together? 2x and 2x, good. Good, so now we're just gonna simplify this. Once we've combined the like terms, we can add them together. What's 7xy plus 7xy? Good. 14xy. And what's 2x plus 2x? Good. And that's it. This is the, a simplified expression of the perimeter. Can I find the perimeter? Do we know what x and y are? No. So we can't actually find the actual perimeter. But if I tell you the values of x and I tell you the value of y, you can plug it in and solve for the perimeter. Oh. We're going to use the same shape and we're going to find the area. How do you find area of a rectangle? Good. Length times width. What's the length of this rectangle? Good. 7xy is the length. And what's the width? 2x. So we're going to multiply the length and the width. Okay, so 7xy times, I'm going to use brackets, times 2x, okay? We're multiplying these two terms together, right? We're multiplying the length times the width. How do you multiply a monomial by a monomial? What's the first part of this that we need to multiply together? Which part of this term should we multiply first? So we're going to multiply the coefficients first. So 7 times 2, 14, then what do I multiply? This is actually x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 1. What do I do with the exponents? Good. So it's going to be x to the power of? And then I'm just going to keep the y because it's multiplying y by basically just 1. So the answer is 14x squared y. That's the simplified area. Made with DoodleCast Pro.